Welcome to Teeing Off Without Getting Teed Off. Put a tee down to find where you should line up so you hit the sweet spot or center of the club face. Start by letting your arms comfortably hang as you address the ball and line up the club with the inside of the front foot. Don't extend toward the ball as this puts your back in a reaching position usually leading to a slice as you have to once again reach for the ball as you come through the swing. By starting loose and comfortable it leads to a much more fluent swing. When taking practice swings pay attention to what path the club head travels compared to where it starts. With the swing of a driver not making contact with the ground the best height to tee the ball is half above and half below the top of the club head. As the swing comes through, skimming the grass surface, it lines up the ball with the center of the club face. The back swing should be slow and deliberate along the same swing path as your downswing will follow, using the muscle memory of your body to aid with consistent impact and swing angle. When the club shaft is horizontal, the face should be vertical. Your back elbow starts to bend, keeping your front elbow almost straight. Comfort in the swing is a big factor. If it isn't comfortable, it is much more difficult to stay consistent. Keep taking the club back, keeping your wrist bent in a 90 degree angle until you reach the top. As you swing downward, your front forearm and wrist should all be straight at impact with the ball. As you accelerate through, the trailing forearm will be getting close to straight, if not all the way, but it is pushing the club forward. Your front shoulder should be slightly higher than your back shoulder at impact, so it may be slightly bent and still have an effective swing. Maintain speed through the ball. The trampoline effect of the ball exploding off the club face is enhanced by how much speed continues through impact. As you finish the swing, make sure to open your shoulders toward where you are aiming. Your hips start square to the ball. As you take the club back, they turn the same direction. Your swing is almost engaged by the start of your hips, so when you hit the ball, you have actually turned your hips past square and they are starting to open up toward the target. At finish, they are square toward the target, 90 degrees forward of where you started. Shoulders start square to the ball with the front shoulder slightly higher than the back. As you bring the club back, you should be able to look down at the ball and your shoulders will be lined up with the ball. At impact, they will be square with the ball, with the back shoulder still slightly below the front. And at the finish, they are even height and square to the target. Your head should stay still all the way through the backswing and at impact, and technically it should remain the same at the finish, but as you watch the ball, it is okay to straighten up and enjoy the finish. Your feet will be whatever is comfortable. The front foot should remain on the ground as you bring the club back, but a slight raise of the heel as you turn it forward is okay. The back foot should remain flat the whole way through the swing until you reach the follow through and you can come up on your toe with your foot vertical. When you start the swing, weight should be shifted towards your back leg and at impact it should be shifting and slightly more on your front side. As you finish, it's mostly all on the front leg, allowing for you to be all the way through with weight transfer and using the shift to add to the club acceleration. The most commonly used golf balls are those with red numbers, which mean 90 compression. Those with black numbers are 100 compression for those with faster swings. Black numbers are also used for 80 compression balls for women and seniors. Dimple patterns add to the aerodynamics, keeping it aloft like the seams of a baseball. Cores vary by company and style. Ones that say wound are good for controlling the spin. Ones that are distance have a smoother, 
more solid core that isn't as easily controlled directionally, but will go further. Club faces have a restriction by the Professional Golfing Association, or PGA, of how thin they can be so there isn't too much trampoline effect. Most of the clubs made are within regulations, but the one in the video is one that is not. They are allowed in local tournaments unless they are using PGA guidelines and not just the specific course rules. It also has a couple of inches of extension in the handle to add to the length and make the speed of the club head a little faster, adding distance on good contact and a little more challenge to making that good impact. Golf gloves help with grip, but if you have a favored style of grip on your club, like the chamois grip, it is sometimes more comfortable without gloves. Your actual hand grip should be all of your first knuckles lined up and your index finger and pinky of the other hand interlocked for slightly more swing control. The bottom thumb can be left on or off depending on how your control is of the club face at impact. Sometimes on shorter shots it helps to have the bottom thumb on for wrist control. Now that you've seen it, we're on to the driving range.